for today's talk show. Our topic for today is the future of biotechnology for biotech graduate students. You will know in the video what is industrial biotechnology and how it is important in today's time. What are the career options available in biotechnology? If you really want to be tuned with us, please do ensure you share, like and subscribe. Welcome everyone. So today we are going to start our talk show and the topic for the talk show is future of industrial biotechnology for biotech graduates. And for this, we have Dr. Anshu with us joining on this talk show. So Dr. Anshu is a PhD in food biotechnology from IIT Kharagpur and she also is MTech in applied botany in, from IIT Kharagpur. Uh, welcome on the talk show, uh, Ms. Anshu. Uh, we would go with the first question. Uh, before that, if you could just brief something on the industrial biotechnology for the audience, that would be really wonderful. So, we were talking about industrial biotechnology. Industrial biotechnology yeah. is the field of biotechnology uh, where mm -hmm. we have a same concept where we are using the, you can say, living cells or their cellular components to mm -hmm. get our desired end product. Mm -hmm. But technically, okay. the difference lies in the terms of scaling up means you are uh, focusing on migration of a process which you have done at lab scale means at a small okay. level of production like a 5 to 10 liter and now you are focusing to go at a pilot scale or a commercial scale of manufacturing okay, okay. so a lot of factors are involved uh, when you work at the commercial scale and for that a lot of uh, uh, you can say uh, optimizations are required and this industrial biotechnology works with total detailed project management starting from your selection of raw materials, optimization of process parameters, ah, okay. then mm -hmm. so if all these are considered when you are uh, working about industrial biotechnology. That's good. Huh? As a summary, uh, that's good to know about uh, how it is differentiated. So. Uh, how do you think it's important for any biotech graduate? I mean, as an option of a line, how, how important it is for them to understand this particular area? See, normally, uh, most of the students, uh, they don't have uh, a knowledge that how a product is processed at a large scale. Okay? So because mm -hmm. they're, during their degree course, they are more exposed to the lab scale because they are, they do a more of the lab scale type of studies okay, in the degree courses. So when someone is going for this type of uh, certification course or they are yeah. going, going for some internship, particularly in the industrial biotechnology, biotechnological mm -hmm. area, mm -hmm. they are going to get a broader perspective. Broader perspective okay. means in terms of how the optimization is done, how the quantification is done, how the verification is going to be done, how you're going to validate your process parameters, mm -hmm how you are going to use the unit operation across the product development life cycle, okay? starting from your raw material till your promotion scale. So it is a totally giving your perspective behind the industry, the perspective which industry follows, okay, which is not possible when you work with in the line of uh, in the normal biotechnological courses. Okay. Yeah, that, that's that's good to know. So, um, so you have briefed us on how the process is on the biotechnology, right? How how the industrial biotechnology works in the industry and what all processes it takes. But how exactly is it different from uh, a line of formal biotechnology, right? See, set of tools, the principles, or you can say the biological system will be same. Okay. So, difference as I have told you is in terms of scaling up you are increasing okay. the size of your production unit okay like initially okay. you work in the lab with 10 liters means your 10 liters you are producing something but when you're scaling up you have to go in stages directly you cannot Correct. go for a lab scale to a full commercial scale because it will mm -hmm. going to hamper the 
economy of your industry okay normally something which is done at the lab scale we cannot duplicate at the full commercial scale it's need a proper okay. stages like first you work at 10 liter then you work at uh, 10000 liter 100 liter then you work at 10000 liter and then you work at full commercial scale okay and each at each of the step that pilot scale demo scale or full commercial scale you need to validate at each step and you have to check the efficiency of your operations which you are including in this type of uh, process design okay so that's why industrial biotechnology is different from biotechnology in terms of mm. scale okay that's good so uh, from a graduate perspective right when they are choosing the lines of what should they do in the career and how should they progress in the career uh, what do you think what kind of graduate should join this uh, this area of expertise from their career option i mean there are multiple streams in biotechnology right so if someone is doing btech in biotechnology uh, and if they are inclined towards going into the industry not going to the r&d section of industry and going to the production sector production unit, production unit of the mm-hmm. industry i think they should have a knowledge about bioenergetics uh, kinetics and uh, then you have uh, power separation technology this is very much required in case of uh, industrial biotechnology okay so okay. normally either they go for an internship in this area so that they get a hands on experience or they can get a good exposure mm-hmm. that how the handling part is done at the production uh, unit or they go for the internship courses okay which are okay. more inclined to give them a better perspective better overview of how it is being handled at the large form, uh, production level okay i think that's good and then uh, from internship they can have their experience and they can understand you know what it takes and stuff and then they can make a decision yeah that's how the path should be Yeah, okay. that is it. Okay. So, uh, on on the career options after done industrial, they understand what all career options do they have for future. See, if, uh, uh, and and what kind of industries generally you know need th- these uh, expertise basically. If someone is a graduate, okay, uh, normally the they can join as a trainee. In the firstly, they initially can join as a trainee. They can join as a process operator okay they can join as a pro- production assistant initially with advancement they can be a technical officer they can be a scientific officer they can be a qual- quality control manager quality control analyst so these are uh, different aspects which are related to the btech graduates if they want to work in an industry and if someone is having a much higher degree like they are mtech or they are uh, phd's then they can join r and d section of the industries where that they can join as a formulation scientist they can join as a process designer scientist so these are the different uh, area where people can join depending upon their qualifications at uh, graduation or higher degrees and how does the progression works for them i mean what is the uh, uh, you know their career projections after mm-hmm. joining on this particular area see uh, most important is that initially it's all about the hand on experience because you're work, going to work in an industry okay and uh, yeah. you should have a more of a basic understanding that how the system is working okay so mm-hmm. uh, depending upon that initially when you are going to join an industry it is, uh, they will be uh, judging you on basis on your concept only right like what okay. is your concept and basically with time when you are having a more of hand on experiences then they will be giving you a more better uh, job uh, options like quality control manager or a quality control analyst like this type of job opportunity okay. can be given to you like it, even the production unit have uh, their own r&d section also installed there so if you have a uh, more okay. interest in the research section then there also you can join it uh, and from the industries is it uh, each uh, kind of cpg industry needs it uh, or is it more um you know uh, uh, what kind of industries is generally need these kind of uh, expertise is see, it all of the industries or is it some of them see, nowadays what is the problem with uh, normal uh, chemical processed engineering industries which are working on normal use of chemical processes that they are facing a uh, issue of most of the you can say 
use of dangerous or hazardous substances they are using and they are discarding mm-hmm. into the environment so every, right. every now the goal of globally the aim is to design a process that is sustainable in terms of environment in terms of society okay uh, so digital okay. biotechnology is becoming a boom okay because it has given us a lot of uh, range of cam- products in a pharmaceutical mm-hmm. sector okay in a term, in a agriculture sector in the food and okay. sector so apart from that biofuel bioethanol and biodiesel which are being produced these are all industrial biotechnological uh, uh, applications similarly okay. the pharmaceutical the vaccines which we get is also a type mm-hmm. of industrial biotechnological application because we are using the uh, mm-hmm. cells to develop the vaccines so they, oh. in every sector industrial biotechnology holds a, a position but it is that that how we are going to use it for a, a better production that, that that's that's good i mean that which means i mean the the options they have is vast options i yeah. reach across the different industries if if i may say in last 10 year what is the major impact brought in by this whole uh, you know by this whole particular line of industrial biotechnology I, any major ones which um you know can help people understand how it is impacting actually the industry see in the last um if i say in a, a day to day life we are cons- consuming industrial biotechnological products if i give an example like cheese which we are using okay. is an example of industrial biotechnology okay uh, if i say yakult which we are taking or sorry uh, the probiotic drinks which we are taking are as a type of industrial biotechnological product okay then we mm-hmm. have your um, uh, bioethanol and biodiesel you know the blending has been uh, uh, now been started at by 2030 20, 20% blending should be done so if we are going to use this blending we have to use a bioethanol or biodiesel and this bioethanol and biodiesel can be uh, can be prepared from this industrial biotechnological approach apart from that if i say uh, different types of your agriculture sectors like bio fertilizers which we have these are also mm. a type of industrial biotechnological product okay, okay. so uh, and india is uh, now uh, you can say uh, among 12 uh, biotechnological destinations is among the 10 by the 12 biotechnological destinations among uh, globally okay and okay. is third in the asia pacific region so in india the biotechnological sector grow, is going very fast Okay. So that's why if you see the major portion, the major chunk in the case of in India, the biotechnological sector is uh, is of biopharmaceuticals, followed by your bio agriculture. Okay. So these okay. are the different uh, areas where industrial biotechnology is playing a very important role. And definitely, if someone is interested in working in this area, they are going to get a better job opportunities. yeah i mean that was a quite good information uh, for me at least i don't know how our audience are uh, feeling about it but yeah uh, till now it has been very interesting to understand how this particular industry is evolving or changing now uh, uh, the one last but not the least the last question right how our learners can ensure they can get a career boost uh, by for starting in this particular area what should they do while they are doing their uh, graduation or post graduation so that they can get an edge over the other students see uh, obviously when you have a uh, uh, you can say a uh, certification courses or internship in that particular it will give you an edge because if there is a lot of cvs are there and you have a, a, a certification course or internship in this area they make you different from the mass okay so in this sector if uh, if you want to go you have to go for uh, you have to go for certain uh, uh you can say exposure to this certification courses or you can go for this uh, internship or you can go for uh, apply for different fellowships it's not really has been offered by certain industries because they use the uh, trainee or have a trainee options like that they give a provide a fellowship so you can join their roles i think that's good i mean they need to get an initial exposure for the industry to get oh, an edge over it perfect i think this was our last question dr anshu thanks for joining us in our chat show